I'm often asked my opinion on the best lighting for Acropora dominated tanks. If you want the quick answer, I recommend hybrid lighting. But for everyone else who wants an explanation, I present the following video. I've been reading a lot more lately, and a good number of these books are written by successful entrepreneurs. If you read many of these books too, you will realize that different authors sometimes offer the same advice. This is totally not a bad thing though because it really reinforces how critical this information is if you're going to follow a similar path. For example, to be a successful entrepreneur or CEO or any kind of people manager, almost everyone says that it's essential to know your own strengths. More importantly, you must absolutely recognize and accept your own weaknesses. It sounds simple, but it's no easy task, I promise you. But once you figure that out, you can then begin to surround yourself with the right people to help overcome those weaknesses. This is how I think about lighting for my tanks. There is no perfect light. Each type of light, whether it be metal halide, T5s, LEDs, they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. LEDs are the best at bringing out colors of the corals, but the shadowing and pore spread is a pretty big weakness when it comes to Acropora. And that's where T5 shine. They are very good with coloration, but their unique strength is that nice, diffuse, even light spread that Acropora seem to like. T5s do pack a lot of PAR as well, as long as the components are of high quality and the bulbs and ballasts are being actively cooled. Although I don't think of the following as significant weaknesses, many dislike the lack of shimmer and the fact that T5s have a large footprint. Metal halides are probably the best at growing corals and have the best natural shimmer if you're into that sort of thing. But they are probably the most energy inefficient because they do produce relatively more heat compared to the other two choices. But on a personal note, my tank does just fine with a couple of fans and they're usually on for no more than a couple minutes at a time. Metal halide do okay with color in general, but in my opinion, they are generally at the bottom of the pack in this category. As CEO of your Acropora dominated tank, the best way to grow those frags into nice healthy colonies with eye popping coloration that will be appreciated by everyone, you should utilize the strengths of at least two different lighting modalities. Because of their ability to bring out colors, LEDs should be included in whatever hybrid system you choose. As far as what to pair them with, I like T5s better than halides because they provide that diffuse, even light that LEDs lack. Of course, you can have a lot of LED modules to make up for the poor spread, but it's certainly gonna cost you a lot. So with that said, LED and T5 is my favorite combination. Specifically, I like T5s as the main light source supplemented with LEDs. One reason for that is because if you have LEDs supplemented with T5s, Often the T5s are retrofitted and not actively cooled, which just makes them less efficient. But overall, that's a minor point and LEDs supplemented with T5s is definitely a solid setup. If you were to go this route, I think it's best if you put as many T5s that will fit over your tank as possible. By the way, if I could only choose one type, I would choose T5s. They are overall the best light because they do a great job with colors and growth. This is actually what I run over my quarantine tank. Just so we're clear, I'm talking about Acropora dominated tanks. If you just want a few SPS at the top of your rocks then you can obviously get away with less. I'm talking about wall to wall Acropora and being able to grow Acropora at the bottom of your tank if you want to. Nobody really cares about soft corals. Bruh. Keep in mind too, then I'm not saying that you absolutely need a hybrid system because there are a lot of single light systems out there that do just fine. And although lighting is super important, really it's only one piece of the successful reefing equation. I do practice what I preach. Over my 120 gallon, I have an eight bulb ATI T5 fixture and that's supplemented with a DIY LED strip light. Over my 140 gallon, I have two 250 watt metal halides and that's supplemented with two DIY LED modules. I do plan to add at least two more of these small LED modules in the future just to fill in some gaps that the halides are missing. But I chose halides over T5s on this tank 
because I want stuff to grow as fast as possible. It is a propagation tank after all. But one thing that I learned in the last couple months is that many of the slow growers under the T5 LED setup are actually doing better under the Halite LED setup. But also with that said, there are definitely many acros that like T5s better. But the reason I'm telling you this is because this really emphasizes the fact that it's better to have some variety when it comes to lighting because acros just do better under certain lights. So in conclusion, my answer to your question about which lighting you should choose for an Acropora dominated tank is try to go with a hybrid system. They are not the easiest to implement, especially on smaller tanks. And those straight out of the box hybrid systems are usually pretty pricey. But there are definitely ways to do it. You just have to find a hybrid combination that you're happy with and one that doesn't break the bank. But if you could manage it, I'm telling you right now, your Acropora will love you for it. It's just like starting your own company. Yes, you'll have to wear many hats in the beginning, but eventually if you want to grow and maybe even dominate, you're going to need to surround yourself with people who bring qualities and skills that you just don't have. All right guys, one last piece of advice. I know this is an expensive hobby, but try not to go cheap with lighting. It's going to likely cost you more in the long run. Trust me, I found out the hard way. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Good luck and happy reefing.